This is Trey Ann with the FRVTA and I'm at Jonathan Dickinson State Park, a haven of natural beauty in Hobie Sound on Florida's East Coast. There is an entry fee at the park unless you have an annual Florida State Park Pass, but it is more than worth it to see one of America's best state parks. Jonathan Dickinson State Park offers a rich tapestry of ecosystems, from dense forest and scrubland to serene waterways. With over 11,000 acres to explore, you'll never run out of new discoveries. Lace up your hiking boots and embark on an unforgettable adventure. In fact, it is the largest state park in Southeast Florida. A must-see at Jonathan Dickinson State Park is the Hobie Mountain Tower. This is the highest natural point south of Lake Okeechobee, rising 86 feet above sea level on ancient sand dunes. To see this 360 degree view of the ocean and intercoastal is definitely worth the hike. Hikers will delight in the park's extensive trail system, which caters to all skill levels. Whether you prefer a leisurely stroll or a challenging hike, the park has something for everyone. Keep your eyes peeled for native wildlife such as the elusive Florida panther and the majestic bald eagle. If you're a water lover, Jonathan Dickinson State Park won't disappoint. Grab a paddle and navigate the park's scenic waterways by canoe or kayak. If you do not bring your own, don't worry. Canoes and kayaks are available for rent at the concession stand. You can also purchase tickets for a riverboat tour. Drift along the river and marvel at the unique mangrove forests and observe a diverse array of aquatic life. It's a serene escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. If you happen to have a boat with you, they do have a very nice boat ramp. For those with a need for speed, hop on a bike and hit the park's thrilling cycling trails. Pedal your way through breathtaking landscapes from rolling hills to sandy paths. Jonathan Dickinson State Park offers an exhilarating experience for mountain bikers of all levels. They even have off-road bicycle trails, a skills practice park. At the concession stand, you can also find bike rentals for adults and children. They Another must-see stop is the Elsa Kimball Environmental Education and Research Visitor Center. Here they have exhibits that explain the habitat and the creatures that live here. Here you can learn more about the wild man of the Loxahatchee, aka Trapper Nelson. And if you are so inclined, hop on the boat tour and visit his cabin on the river. The park has two camping areas for RVs. This is an overview of the Pine Grove Campground. Here is an overview of the river campground. They have a variety of sites available here from gravel to paved, all of which feature picnic tables, fire pits, grills, electric, and water. They even have some very large pull-through sites. They have a very nice bathhouse facility with large shower stalls, all of which have their own private changing area. They also have washers and dryers in case you need to do a little laundry. There is also a dump station. If you don't have an RV but would like to camp at the park, they also have a variety of cabins for rent as well as primitive tent sites. There is a concession stand with snacks, frosty cold drinks, and a large variety of Jonathan Dickinson attire. Hopefully this glimpse into the natural wonders of Jonathan Dickinson State Park has piqued your curiosity. Whether you're a water enthusiast, hiker, biker, or camper, this park offers something for everyone. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, FRVTA, for sneak peek and opening day videos of all of our regional, multi-dealer RV shows, the annual super show, and our amazing Florida attractions, state parks, and RV resorts. Thanks for watching.